Brian O'Leary here with you. Just a quick story. Well, kind of quick. It's baseball again. Talking to Eddie Matthews and a few other folks, as you'll see. But Eddie Matthews, well, he was the only player to play for the Braves in the three cities they've called home, Boston, Milwaukee, and Atlanta. Matthews was also an all-time great third baseman, and he was a Hall of Famer who finished his career with 512 home runs. In 1954, Eddie Matthews was considered one of the game's superstars, and he was featured on the first ever cover of Sports Illustrated, the once iconic weekly magazine. I've only known three or four perfect swings in my time, Ty Cobb said of Eddie Matthews. This lad has one of them. The now band Shift was regularly employed against the pull heavy Matthews, who delighted in beating the Shift. Now, history has since overshadowed Matthews in many ways, rightfully so, perhaps. After all, his teammate was Hank Aaron, generally considered one of the top five to ten players ever. And as teammates with the Braves from 1954 to 1966, Hank Aaron and Eddie Matthews hit 863 combined home runs, eclipsing the mark of 772 that Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth set when they played together on the Yankees. The the Braves won the World Series in 1957, beating the Yankees, and lost the Fall Classic to the Yankees the following season. Charlie Grimm, who was a Braves manager during the early parts of the careers of both Matthews and Aaron, you know, he once said that Ty Cobb claims that Aaron is one of the best young ball players he's seen in many years. Now, what did Ty Cobb like so much about Aaron? Like both of these guys. What I like about that kid is his hitting, the Georgia Peach told Grimm. The first time I looked at him, I said, there's a great hitter because of his mannerisms at the plate. Those mannerisms paid off. Aaron hit his 715th home run on April 18th, 1974, passing Babe Ruth as a top slugger of all time. Eddie Matthews, well, he was on the top step of the Braves dugout that day, managing the Braves. Teammates. Later that summer... The Braves, only one game over 500, mired in fourth place in the division. They fired Matthews. And a few years before, Matthews, I, mean, I think I believe when he was hit, the hitting coach of the Braves before he became the manager, but he had taken a young slugger under his wing in the form of third baseman Daryl Evans. This protege, who eventually hit 414 career taters himself, praised Matthews for his coaching. Eddie was not only my manager, he was my friend. He used to talk to me, pump into me that I had to do it. Naturally, Evans criticized the Braves for firing his friend. Aaron said the decision to fire Matthews was a blow to me. The next season, Hank Aaron was back in Milwaukee playing for the American League's Brewers. Evans left Atlanta in 1976 and went to the San Francisco Giants. He is now a member of that organization's Wall of Fame. After a stellar career and winning a World Series as a key member of the Detroit Tigers in 1984, Evans returned to the Braves for one final season in 1989. Aaron's career ended after the 1976 season. Starting that offseason, he began working in the Braves' front office and continued in various executive roles until his passing at age 86 in January 2021. Point is, loyalty matters. Sometimes one party or another screws things up, but the damage should never be irreversible. Loyalty is often earned by teamwork. And if the foundation of the team is shaky, loyalty is unlikely. However, if the infrastructure within a team is solid, a commitment and an allegiance to one's teammates will typically ensue. Where does that bring us? Well, we're creating a team within my Inner Sphere program, the program's first pitch. It's later this week with a few of our founding associates. It's about teamwork, and it's about helping others achieve their own goals. 
Teamwork can be described as the willingness to work together toward a common mission and purpose. Teamwork is also the fuel that allows common folk to attain uncommon results. Now, if achieving your goals interests you, there may be a spot within the sphere available. We literally have room for one more person, although we can operate just fine without anyone new. This will change, changes and open up as we roll along into summer. It's not, it's not quite glory's last shot. Even the PGA screwed that up as you didn't see over the weekend. But if there's not any immediate availability, just hop on our waiting list and the link to sign up. You can see it down below here. It's Brian D. O'Leary dot lpages dot co slash inner sphere as always brian o'leary thanks again